whatever pops in my head, instead of me saying, oh, that can't be done, or no, someone's gonna have a problem with that, I tend to just do it, because you're not gonna know until you get it out of your head. That's the starting place, is just making some marks. You just move the paint around, or you move the pen around, or you move the, the pencil around, until you find something in there. It's kind of like looking at clouds. As they move across the sky, you start to see images in there. My job as a storyteller is to take existing things and then somehow do a different twist on it. And twisting the story gives it a different perspective. I have to see it in my mind's eye before I can actually physically put it on canvas or on paper. You know, what is this going to be about? I know the history or the story. How do I bring my own interpretation to that? I've been working on this mostly drawings in my sketchbook, King Kong, you know, and playing with that image and what does King Kong look like to me. I would get a, an image in my head, uh, go ahead and do it, see what it looks like, if it feels like it can be fleshed out a little bit more, I'll do another one and another one, maybe three or four, so you get a sense of where this is going. There are some paintings that paint themselves. There are other paintings that, you know, you think, okay, I had a great idea, but it doesn't look good visually. It isn't so much about the subject matter, it's more about the composition, how things come together. One day you'll start a painting, and then the next day, everything that you thought was just perfect is no longer perfect anymore. It's key to step back from time to time. I see a lot of artists will just take a seat, you know, and they're too close to the work. That's why you see mirrors here. If you're looking at something for a long period of time, you miss all the mistakes. But if you have a way to change the way you see from time to time by looking in the mirror, you see all the distortions that you aren't gonna see if I'm looking directly at it. And sometimes it's better to just kind of step away from it, don't even look at it for a while, and paint more than one painting at a time did an 18-foot painting. It's called Harlequin's Dream. The painting appears as though it's a dream because the perspective is sort of wonky in places. The whole idea was I want people to actually be part of the painting, to actually walk into that space, be a part of the event taking place, as opposed to being a voyeur. These aren't models. These are people I'm making up or things I'm making up on the canvas. I think it's very difficult to to use a model and, do, and make them do the things that I wanted them to do. So I, I love to play with things that don't make sense um, or seem a little dangerous. I don't know if I really concretely start with a story. If you saw the drawing that that painting began with, it's completely changed. The figure that's holding the magnifying glass has always been there. That's probably one of the few pieces in that painting that is a, from the original idea. Because you think of the magnifying glass as one of those things where I really want to see this closer so I can understand what I'm looking at. That's where the original concept came from, using the magnifying glass as a uh, metaphor for you know, not really believing until I can actually see. By keeping an open mind, to developing the piece by saying I don't want to make this about any particular thing. I want it to be open enough that the viewer will have always the possibility of seeing it differently every single time. That's not your job to explain it. Your job is basically make something interesting enough that people will ask the question, what is this and what does it mean to them? I have so many ideas in my head that I can't put them down fast enough. And I tend to be one who feels like my work is important for me to just keep doing it until I can't do it anymore. If I get an idea, I don't edit. Um, I just see what it looks like, and I may not like it, but at least I put it down. Um, so I get the joy out of just being able to come in here in my own space and create images that didn't exist before.